Oil India. Mr. T.K. Anant Kumar, the Director of Finance of the company, joins us on the phone line to talk about, well, a lot that's happening with the company, but a couple of news bits as well. Mr. Kumar, thanks so much for joining in. We'll talk about how business is doing in a bit, but just first to confirm or deny the news that is happening. Can you confirm for us if you are eyeing a stake uh, which BG aims to offload in Gujarat gas? Yeah, we have shown some interest, uh, but beyond this, I'm not able to comment anything. Okay. Uh, without getting into some specifics, uh, just wanting to know if you would be participating or have participated in the bidding process per se. We have joined the consortium, so we are uh, given the uh, mandate to GSPC to uh, go ahead with the bidding. So beyond that, uh, we are not in a position to say anything. Right. Would you be looking at all of uh, uh, BG's stake at this point, Mr. Kumar? Could you uh, perhaps throw more perspective on that? No, I am not able to say anything more on this. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the matter. It's uh, still under discussion. Right. But just as a strategy on, uh, you know, what you propose uh, to uh, do as, as part of being uh, or holding a stake in Gujarat gas, in the, if indeed that does happen, what is your gas distribution strategy at this point in time? How will this take purchase be a fit there? See, as a strategy, we wanted to get into CNG, PNG also as a selective diversification. So in line with that, we are looking at uh, bidding rounds and this uh, Gujarat gas uh, issue also came in between. So we have just joined them. Beyond this, uh, at the moment, uh, talking anything beyond is premature for us. Okay, fair point. What's the kind of cash reserves that you're sitting on purely from an academic perspective for any kind of MA purpose? Currently, we have uh, 13,000 crores cash in hand and we have earmarked 6,000 crores for MA purpose. Okay, and is there anything else uh, aside of this uh, stake that you are eyeing? Is there anything else that you would look to do? Should this or this not material? Yeah, we have been uh, continuously looking at some assets abroad, and uh, at the moment, few of such opportunities are being evaluated. So hopefully, we should be able to strike something soon in this year. Is there uh, a valuation band you have in mind, uh, and how much are you willing to perhaps uh, invest in the business to scale up? Business of uh, gas distribution essentially and the assets that you're looking at abroad. Uh, assets, what we are looking abroad, uh, as I told you about uh, 6,000 crores, we are a month for discovered and producing assets, which includes oil and gas both. Okay, and where would these assets be, sir? Uh, we Which have uh, uh, focusing our concentration in Canada, Australia, some parts of Africa. And these are some of the regions which we are seeing in looking at. Okay, and is there a timeline by which you would want to finalize? Uh, are you, uh, yeah, this year uh, we are keen that uh, we should conclude. And our MOU with government also, we have mentioned that uh, we should be concluding a few acquisition deals. Mm -hmm. And we have kept 6,000 crores for that. Right. What is the next step as far as interest in the BG stake is concerned? While you can't give us... Uh, more details. Can you just at least highlight to us the procedure from here? I will not be able to say anything. Okay. Uh, one final word, really, Mr. Kumar. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, after before we come to you, how business is shaping up? Would yeah. you be comfortable? Let's say the Gujarat gas strategy goes ahead for you. Would you still be eyeing overseas assets, and would you be adequately funded for the same as well? Which assets? So you did say that you were looking at a couple of assets overseas as well, and you've yeah, also yeah. gone ahead with GSPC. Would you go ahead on both the sides, both the strategies? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, both. great. How is, how is business shaping up right now, Mr. Kumar? I mean, we've... We, we have uh, pleased to inform that uh, both in crude oil and gas, we have ended the year with uh, growth of 7% crude oil and more than 10% gas. Mm -hmm. And uh, the year also has started well. So we have a guidance of close to 4 million ton um, crude oil production this year, which will be further growth of about 6%. Okay. What about the gas side of the business, Mr. Kumar? Gas side of the business also is continuing to grow, and 
we should end up the year with uh, 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 guidance of close to um, three million, uh, three billion cubic meters. How much growth do you see coming in from inorganic moves, such as uh, the interest that you've shown right now, and also uh, expanding overseas? Uh, as uh, I mentioned, we have kept the money aside for acquisition. So we expect that uh, once uh, acquisition is done, that should give us uh, both bottom line and top line growth from this year onwards. From this year, for sir. us to say quantify it, but uh, the acquisition is aimed at both bottom line and top line growth. And these assets that you're talking about, uh, that you're evaluating uh, uh, in the U.S. Uh, and Canada region, could you roughly put a size on uh, on how big are these companies, their value as such? Uh, it's uh, evaluation diligence is going on, so at the moment uh, we are not able to comment anything more.